Why not have to mention pizza right now? You guys, it's official. I'm back in the office. I can relax now. I still gotta clean up this place. Man, this place is dirty. I'm a huge pizza lover. Can't you tell? Welcome back. You picked me up, Scotty, and I'm Scotty. I really wish you guys were pizza right now. Like, I wanna eat it. Eat it. But anyway, it feels really good to be back, be able to sit down, pile out some older sets that I promised you guys I was bringing. I'm bringing them, I'm gonna bring them. So thank you so much for hanging in there. And I think it should be 2019 now. Yay, happy new year, everybody. So check it out. This has been out for a little while. It's kind of hard to get, Oxford Block, as always. These sets are kind of exclusive for only being in Korea, and they only have like a limited run, or they do have it, but they're kind of expensive. Now, because the set is so small, I thought I'd jump into another set to show you. It's like another bonus thing. Yay, bonus review while I'm doing this one. You ready for this? You ready? Check it out. Ooh, booyah, booyah. This is actually pretty interesting too. We don't sell this on the store, but I thought I'd review it for you guys. Small, so why not? But check it out. So this is Oxford Block's The Healthy Ham and Sausage by Chel Jedang. Boy, I hope I'm saying that right. Limited edition? <laughs> like I said, this is not available on the store. I'm really sorry I'd have bought this for me because I love the look of it. Look at that. It's such a cool little detailed little kitchen. However, if you really, 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 really want to buy it, just you know, email us at Brick Me Up Scotty. See what we can do for you. If you can't find it online, we'll try to hunt it down for you. Not sure how much it costs. I just bought it. She just said, stop buying these things because they cost money. But let's look at the detail on this thing. This is so cool. So I guess this is based on a sausage company. They're trying to promote their healthy sausages. And on the table, I just put all the tiles on there. These are all stickers, by the way. But it's cool. Look, you got a steak there. You got some healthy sausage. The packaging from the brand itself, a lemon and an apple. And look at the kitchen along the back there, man. Oh, I'm dropping all the tiles. Look, <gasps> everything just fell down. Yeah, I'll put these all back on the table later. It's tiled. I do like the green and the white there. I like the table size, but that is a sticker. Why have to always oh, sticker, 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 so many stickers. You know what? I'm actually thinking about just throwing this in one of my modulars. They have no interiors. Why not? Look at this little drawer. This drawer is so small. Have you ever seen a drawer that small? Is there anything inside? Nothing inside. Have I seen something that small? I don't remember seeing the drawers that small, but that's cool. You got this oven opens and closes, and you got some dishes there that need to be clean. I like how they have a hook to hold the dishes up. Ketchup mustard cups, nice stove top. It almost looks like a radio, but hey, that's cool. And I like the ceiling piece there, like the, the exhaust fan up there. And they have some tools there, fork, knife, and pie cutter, I guess, with a sink. Cabinets are all silver too. Cabinet, or is that a fridge? Maybe that's a fridge. Oh, maybe that is a refrigerator. It's gotta be a fridge, yo. And then you have a sign here that sticks out that just says, your healthy ham and sausage. Oh, so it's ham and sausage. Nothing on the back here, just a window. But that's it, it's really small. This is actually pretty cool. I do like the little stickers on the tiles. He's gonna have some sausage. She's gonna have raw steak. Got some milk, I'll put the milk on top of here. That's a cool milk carton. And you just stack it up. And there you go, that's the healthy sausage. The instruction manual looks like this, just so you guys can see. It's just a piece of paper, yeah. It opens up like super wide like that. And I saved my box. I usually fold up all the boxes, but just so you guys know, this is the box for it. Yeah. Got a little comic there. You guys wanna try to translate the comic? I'll leave it hanging there for a second. Oh, and it does come with two minifigures. Check it out. Yeah, I got this guy here. I like his sweater pattern, actually, it's pretty cool. Red hat, simple look, nothing special. So the guy's name is Special Limited Edition because he's limited edition, I guess. And you got this lady here. Oh, she must be the cook. Cause look, she's wearing an apron and it's printed, printed apron. Haven't seen that. That is actually pretty cool. And her name is also Special Limited Edition. Of course, for dimension's sake, just so you guys know for reference in the future, if you ever do find a set or you really, really want to know how it's going to fit in the room, the diorama, we're going to put this right here. And that is, 10 studs by width, and of course for the front here, if we go here by length, it is 14 studs. Now, if you really wanted to get that sign on the side in together, it's approximately around there, which is 17 studs by length, just so you know. Okay, so for the height, if you have your one by four bricks, it's about eight bricks in height. Well, it's kind of under, it's more like 7.5. It's almost at the top of eight, but there you go. So yeah, cool, healthy sausage, it's time to eat healthy. Let's jump back into the Pizza Hut right now. Let's go. Look, check it out. Look at this thing. Yes, this is Oxford Block's Pizza Hut. Limited edition, rare edition. 
Not sure how many pieces there are. And speaking of not sure how many pieces there are, watch this video and the next Oxford Block video and the next store update unboxing video because I'm gonna do another giveaway and I feel so bad you guys found that thing so fast. Man, how did you guys do that so quick? So keep an eye out on those and for now, take a look at this. So how about that? Just like Subway, Dunkin' Donuts and those other Oxford Block shit, these guys have the right to use the logo. Look at that. It's really Pizza Hut. It's not P-I-Z-Z-E-H-U-I Hoi, like my last name. Ah, uh, not a knockoff. This is actually legit. But as I say, if you're a fan of Oxford Block, where we've been watching my channel for Oxford Block, you know, you gotta pull out your cigars and your caviar because this thing is not cheap, man. Well, for this being rare and limited, the good news is we actually do have stock here. No joke, we actually have a couple of these pieces here. I'm gonna put them on the store. I'm not sure how long it's gonna last if you guys really buy it for me. But it's really cool if you're a big fan of Oxford Block and the licensing stuff. Let's look at it from the front. Yeah, let's check it out. It's nice and tiled on the front. Thank you very much. But it's only tiled on the outside. Anyway, it's cool. I like the little railing there. The rail that you see in a lot of the Oxford Block set. You got a little table there with an umbrella. And of course, there's the delivery scooter. That's really cool, man, that they put that there. They actually put a mount on this so you can mount it directly onto this tile here. Thank you, it's not gonna be loose and fall over the place. Coolest thing about this, it's a pizza on the top. Yeah, look at this thing. That is so good. I love this pizza. I love logos, I love pop-out 3D logos, but this thing right here, it's amazing. I know you guys love me eating this stuff, look at this. Ah, makes me really wanna order a pizza right now. This looks like a supreme pizza. You can see the little olives and the bell peppers on there. Where's the pineapple, man? I know, did I just lose some subscribers because I said that? That I love pineapple on pizza? Dear? Who needs pineapple? I love seafood on my pizza. That's my island sauce. Mm. That is true. You should see the Pizza Hut in Hong Kong, man. They got some crazy stuff on the menu. So you got the Pizza Hut logo right here, and they're all stickers. Ah. So you got the Pizza Hut sign here underneath the pizza. Well, Oxford Block's kind of a hit and miss with stickers, but as you can see, the transparency stickers aren't so great, but the other stickers are actually pretty okay. So below the Pizza Hut sign is this number. Is it the shop number? 1588-5588. Or is that a phone number? So anybody in Korea want to confirm if that's the number for Pizza Hut or not? Call them up, order yours now and by the way i screwed up this logo thank goodness the sticker sheet had extras i'll show you that in a second and you got a sticker on the window there i love the details on the stickers themselves really makes us feel like a full shop let's take a look at the stickers on the front the detail that so i'm trying to see with my own eyes for the sticker on the front here holy smoly it says 40 percent, 30 percent off even i can read that i can't read the text underneath and that is korean look at that pizza my goodness, See, that's what I'm talking about. This is the kind of crazy pizzas we have out here. So on both sides, you kind of have a see-through window. Can't open the windows. The sticker on the side of the wall says Pizza Festival, $9,900. No, it's Korean dollars, but... Oh, look at those pizzas, man. Can you guys see that? Look at the detail on that. So that's it for the front and the sides, but I actually really like this dark tone. It's kind of different from the other Oxford Block set, which is nice for a change. And I like the outstanding red on there. The Pizza Hut red. Yeah, let's look on the inside of this. Whoa, look at that. Despite it being really small, Oxford has a lot of detail, and I like the stuff inside there. It's really cool. It's not tiled, though. Oh, maybe it's too small to tile it up. Oh, well. Well, it's kind of a bummer and it's kind of not at the same time. I've kind of gotten used to the fact that there's no roof and there's no back wall. That means your hands can easily go in there. You can decorate it nicely. But if you're the kind of guy that wants to close it off, you'll probably have to remock this yourself. It's okay. I'm used to it like this. But let's look inside here. Along the top, you've got another sign there that says Pizza Hut. That's Korean. Translator is where you at. Please put it in the comment and I will pin it. Thank you very much. Unless it actually says, taste the difference. Taste the difference of what? Different from Domino's? What are they hinting at? You got a couple stools with chairs. You can't really fit the minifigures on the stool. They'll slide right off. And also above the two tables, there's two lampshades. Red color that overlooks the tables. Let there be light. So the countertop is actually kind of cool. It's simple, but they have a little sticker on there, which is kind of the same advertisement on the front. Almost the same, but a little bit different. And they have a little sign there that says, for the love of pizza. That's a cool sign, man. I love that sign. Set's almost worth it just for that. You got a machine here with the sodas inside. You got Pepsi. Yeah, they really use Pepsi stickers. So if you want the stickers for this, Pizza Hut and Pepsi, you gotta get the set, man. And they have another one there. That soda, I think it's a local brand, right? Chill Sang Cider? I think that says Chill Sang Cider. We have the fountain drinking machine here. 
and that is cool. You can't put the cups in there because it's being blocked by the studs. You got two Pepsis and another cider drink there, and underneath you actually have a container cabinet there. You can put a couple mugs in there. That's what they have inside. Along the top there is the menu again, and there's all the selections for the pizza. We'll have to see what that looks like. Really super macro close with the camera because I can't see it with my own eyes. Unless I really squint. Am I getting that old? I have to squint. And next up, finally, the pizza oven. Let's open it up. And of course, we have some pizza. Can it fit inside? Can we fit it? Better fit, man. Sure can. Cook that pizza. All right. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. It's a really small set. It does come with a couple of minifigures. Let's check them out. So the pizza guy's got his apron and his hat, and they're both stickers on there. Ah, I wish they were printing, to be honest with you. And it's plain underneath the apron. It's just a red shirt with blue pants. He's gonna go deliver some pizza to me. And that is that one car guy. Thank you so much for loving the channel, and I really don't know why the channel is so small. But I'm not complaining. I'm just here to do these videos for you guys, so there you go. Then you got this girl who's wearing actually a print this time, it's not a sticker. She's got a little blue on her teeth. Why is she, is that a misprint? Or did I like accidentally draw on her face? But anyway, simple, typical auction block minifigure, simple outfit, nothing to really go crazy about. You know what, I'm just gonna call her Plain Jane. So the scooter is typical, it looks the same as the other sets that we've seen before, and has a sticker there on the side. That is the same sticker on the front, but it's just kind of shrunk down and very cool indeed. At least you have a delivery scooter to go around the city. And then just to show you guys, this is like another, like it's not really a menu, right? It just like shows, it's like an advertising poster. And of course the other one, it's a pizza tile. You can certainly see the pepperoni on there. That is a supreme pizza, yo. Olives and the peppers. And also comes with a sticker sheet here. Extra stickers, yes. Because I'm always screwing up stickers like I did with this one. But at least you can see you do get extra stickers on there. Some Pepsi, some more of the cider drink and more posters, and pizzas and Pizza Hut logos. So there you go, very cool. Oh, you know it's dimension time, so here we go. So, just so you guys can see, it's very small. It is 16 studs by width. By length, it is also 16 by 16. That means you got plenty of room to place it anywhere you'd like on a 32 by 32 base plate, yeah? They're pretty cool. Okay, if you have some one by four bricks, put them together here and it's around with the pizza on there. It's just shy of 16 bricks. Now without the pizza, take break this down for you. It is exactly 10 bricks. Look at that. Perfecto. So if you guys really want to see what the box looks like for this, this is the Pizza Hut box. Look, it is in mint condition, ready to sell to one of you guys. So we do have them here in stock, for real. We have, even have the box. Now, if you've been ordering from us, you know that we don't really ship with boxes because it, we can keep things really small and light. They charge by size. But anyway, some of you have been ordering boxes, so congrats, you get the box with it. If you want the box, you just have to pay a little bit more. But there you go, yeah, the Pizza Hut box. Cool, yeah? Do I need to do a slow rotation there for you guys, like that? Pizza Hut. Pizza Pizza. The lady there is going, let's go get some pizza. And I'm thinking, damn, my stomach is so hungry. I need some pizza right now. So that's a Pizza Hut set from Oxford Block. It is available on the store. Might be a little bit costly. Can't help that, it's limited. But we do have it available. Or if you're in Korea, you can go hunt for it for yourself. And otherwise, let's jump into the next video, yeah? You guys ready? Well, you know, come out probably like a few days after this. Until next time, break me out. Just so you guys know, we have no more Domino's Pizza. They left a long time ago. Dang it. We have no Papa John's. I'm even more sadder. And we have no Little Caesars. Pizza, pizza! Hey, Scotty, feels so good to be back. But, um, aren't we supposed to be finding some campers? Big Scotty said we're on a break, so we gotta just wait. In the meantime, I can cook you up a cool meal. Check this out. How you like this food? Well, the kitchen looks really good. But the food, I can't eat the meat. It's all good. I got some apples and lemons for you. All right, all right, fine. Let me see what I got in the fridge. I found some milk in the fridge. Scotty, why are you trying to insult me? That came from a cow. I'm dear. It just doesn't work that way. I can't drink that. But I drink from a cow. You'll never understand. Hmm, you know what? Let's go to Pizza Hut. There's a Pizza Hut right next door. Let's go. Wow, look at the size of that pizza, dear. Hey, but it's got meat on it. You know, they gotta have other things in here. Let's go take a look inside. They better have other options in here. Oh, it's kind of crammed in here, Scotty. 
Yeah, it is pretty tight in here, but look, look at the menu there. Look at all those pizza. Vegetarian, they have Thousand Island, seafood. But wh where's the guy at? He's not even here. Oh, he says he'll be right back. He's just delivering some pizza. Oh. <laughs> I'm back, I'm back, I'm here, I'm here. Hey, mister, I gotta get to the door. Your big butt's in the way. That's not my problem. Your place is so small. Scotty, you gotta move over. All right, fine, I'll stand outside the set. Huh, sorry, I'm so late, guys. So, what can I do for you? What can I get for you? What kind of pizza would you like? One pizza pizza! Yeah, I'll take a Supreme, please. Coming right up. Just give me a second. I gotta check the oven. And here's a vegetarian for you, Mr. Deer. And I'm so sorry, sir. We actually just ran out of dough. Are you serious, man? Dang it. All right, dear. You enjoy your pizza. I'm just gonna starve. Oh, yeah. This is what I'm talking about. Yum, 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 yum. Mmm, Scotty. That pizza was so good. Hey, you know what, dear? I got an idea. Go to the side of the building, will you? Uh, Scotty, what are you trying to do? I feel like you're doing something bad. Don't worry about it, man. Just relax. I got this under control. If that guy doesn't have enough dough, I'm just gonna steal this pizza pizza up here. Scotty, are you serious right now? Dear, no time to explain. Grab the pizza, hop on the back, and let's get out of here. Let's go, sucker! See you later, pizza guy! I'll return your bike! Bye-bye! Dude, what the heck? Oh man, at least I have this box. Still keep the pizza warm. Great, I think we're far enough. I'm gonna put the bike here and leave a note for the guy. He should be able to find us. We're not too far away. Now it's my turn to enjoy this pizza. Kids, whatever you do, don't ever steal. Unless it's a Lego pizza that you can really eat. Then you can take it. Anyway. Well, Scott's enjoying his pizza here. Thank you so much for all the love and support. And welcome to 2019. Yay! Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And Scotty will be back with more. And we got to get back to our big adventure. What are we doing in the middle of nowhere with giant pizza pizza?